Hey everyone! So today I'm going to do my first official bathroom tour. Now mind you, I don't have a big bathroom and it's not as fancy schmancy as most people's. You know, some girls do these bathroom tours and they got like a big closet in their bathroom and they got like cool stuff all over and expensive stuff in their shower. Well, sorry. Um, mine's just not like that. So anyways, this is my bathroom tour. I'm going to show you my bathroom and my towel closet. Um, I usually share a bathroom with my brother, but he recently has kind of moved out because he's getting married again on the 16th. Today is the 12th, so he's getting married on the 16th. So I went ahead and took all of his stuff out. Um, yeah, love you, brother, but guess what? I'm reclaiming this bathroom because it was originally mine till he moved back home and now it's just mine so bye bye hairs on the sink and electric razors because this is a chick's bathroom and he probably won't like that I said that but come on you're a guy you shave over the sink and voila there's hairs in the sink you know yeah so anyways okay let's get started on this glorious bathroom I kind of, I, I've did some different things to it lately, which I guess is why I kind of want to show it because I think it looks a little bit cuter. Um, I do have plans on probably changing it up a little bit, but as of right now, this is my bathroom. Well, oh my goodness, there's my bathroom door. Let's step in. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to show you is a really cheesy white towel. I need to get some new towels. Um, most of my towels are ruined because I used to take my makeup off with baby oil and I got makeup all over them, so yeah. Anyways, let's start off here. I have a door and I have this pretty little hook up here that I hang coats on and stuff because I'm always wearing coats and sweaters. Um, here I have a Walmart bag for garbage. <laughs> yeah! I totally need to invest in a garbage can. Okay, and then I just recently painted this. Like, I didn't know, like, how you could totally transform things by using spray paint. And I've been, like, on a really big kick of spray painting. So, yeah, you're going to see a lot of spray painted items in here. Well, not that many, but whatever. So, this is my pink light switch. And this is my niece, Abby. I always keep this picture in here because I love it ever. I just think she looks so cute. I like to keep her there. And, oh my god, here's a pink shelf. There's some, um, like, oil down there. It's like church oil, you know, that you pray with and stuff. I just found this in my towel closet while I was cleaning out the other day. And I totally put it in here because this is the main place I pray, so I like it there. Um, I just noticed this on the side when I was recording that. This is like rust or something. It's not cheese, okay? So here's my pink shelf. It was white, but I spray painted it pink. And I have a little Cinderella shoe here that I'm going to keep my bobby pins in because I love bobby pins. I just recently got this from Bath & Body Works and it smells amazing and I think it looks so cute. Like the coloring, the teal blue, the pink and the orange and it's called Malibu Heat. And as you can see, um, actually I used the lotion a little bit. I haven't used this. That is actually spilled out from um, traveling to my house from the company because I ordered online and it spilled out so yeah and look at this this is Mary Kate and Ashley perfume this is my most favorite Mary Kate and Ashley perfume ever I have owned two bottles of it one of them I broke and my best friend Lauren reordered me one or rebought me one years ago and I used it all up or something I don't know where it is so I ordered it on overstock.com for $13 and oh my god I'm just so happy to have it again it's like my favorite scent ever it's Mary Kay Ashley coast to coast and the smell is beach honeysuckle which goes totally perfect with Malibu oh my god I want to smell it like right now see me smell it ah uh, it just it's just so fresh and just it's sweet and fresh and it's just wonderful and yeah I just got it and I bought it for myself because it's my birthday tomorrow so I bought myself an early birthday present so I'm gonna set her back right there okay let's go to the sink this 
is antibacterial hand soap inside of here, but this is an old bottle of um, Victoria's Secret's Squeaky Pink Body Wash, fresh and clean. Look, there's my birth year, 1986. And I thought, you know, the pink and blue and stuff, it just kind of goes perfect. So I kept it empty forever because I knew I was going to use it one day and I finally just got it out and decided to use it. And there's actually soap in there. I used up all the body wash a long time ago and I put soap in there. Now this looks a little cheesy, okay? I know it does, but I'm just using this for now. I spray painted this and added these stones on it. And there's my Aura brush, tongue cleaner, and my toothbrush. And this is actually an Exeteran bottle medicine. And there was only six left, so I just emptied them out on the counter and I painted that for my toothbrush holder. This stupid wire works my nerves. It goes all the way down here to my radio. I love playing the radio in my bathroom, especially the Christian station, because I just love listening to Christian music, especially when I'm in the shower or something. And there's my scale that needs batteries. Over here, um, uh, my nieces and nephews, somebody plucked these little suckers off, but there was like mirrors on here. My mom made this for me a long time ago. It's a green towel, obviously. And yeah, I need to re-glue those on because they're missing. Um, hi! I just made this mirror. It was orange with white flowers. And I spray painted it pink and put these stones on it. And then I have this new candle from Bath & Body Works and it's Oceanside. And then um, I just found these in my towel closet while I was like cleaning it out because I'm totally a um, hoarder. So I had to clean out a bunch of stuff and throw stuff away. It's just like a little flower and another flower, which actually went on some flip-flops. But guess what? It's my new decoration. There's so much you can do with like old stuff that you have. You could just put it up and make it all new. I forgot to show you this. I am trying to memorize one scripture a week. And this is John 16, 33. These things I've spoken to you that in me you might have peace. In the world you shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. And those are red letters, so that's Jesus speaking. How awesome is that? I also forgot to show you this, which is a quote from Gandhi, and I need another light bulb. Um, it says, be the change you wish to see in this world. I want to look at this every day and like remind myself of it. I used to have it in my bedroom, but now I put it in my bathroom. Um, oh, rugs. A green rug here and a green rug here and then this one my best friend Lauren got me it like soaks up um, like water and it's squishy it's like memory foam and yeah I, I already showed you my toilet I totally need a new toilet bowl cleaner because that one used to go with my old decoration um, me and my mom just made this collage yesterday and I spray painted this black frame pink and it's got like eyes and lips high heels diamonds lipstick um ed hardy perfume this picture i just loved it just looks so awesome the eiffel tower boots diamond ring mascara wand is not so cute yeah so me and mom made that together i did like this part over here but i'm not that creative so she did the rest for me and i just think it turned out wonderful um i have no clue what this is it's been there for a while but uh yeah all right there's my tool paper Hey, um, this is the reading material in case you come over to visit and you need reading material. I have Hunger Games. I have He's Just Not That Into You, Alice in Wonderland. I have some Christian religious books, Mike Murdoch, a little pamphlet from Mike Murdoch. I just like to read these little pamphlets. Um, Chicken Soup for the Teenage Soul. I love these books. Um, Jesus Freaks, which is by DC Talk, which is a Christian band. And it's DC Talk and the Voice of the Martyrs. It's like people who died or were killed or punished for just loving God and loving Jesus. And it's a really good book. I recommend it. And the latest issue of Glamour Magazine, which has Julianne Huff on the front of it. So yeah, I got some awesome reading materials and it's sitting in a pink box. How cute is that? Another thing I found in my hoarded um, towel closet. Okay, so I just got this a couple days ago from Ross. It's a light pink and it's plastic and it's like got a texture look to it. And I just thought it was cute and I kept these babies up. My shower curtain used to be silver and I love these. These are little mirrors and I also have a clear one on the inside. And now let's look at my shower. I have some face wash here. 
Um, some soap and my favorite body wash from Bath & Body Works. It's lemon, vanilla, razors. Oh, Dove soap. I only use Dove soap. I use like Somali stuff on an occasion, but I love Dove soap. I have like a foot pumice and um, a back scrubber. And then I have some, hey, clearance, woo! Um, yeah, I have some shampoo and conditioner over there, suave, big ballin'. So yeah, that's my shower curtain in my bathroom. Oh, I forgot to show you underneath my cabinet, which I totally reorganized. Okay, so I have a bunch of stuff under here. I have hair products and like deodorant, razors and stuff in this one and some face products. And in here I have a bunch of lotions and like leave-in conditioner, combs, brush, um, an old candle. Yeah, I just love the look of it. It was during Halloween, I had to have it. Um, I have some Viva La Juicy body wash and lotion, some more Bath and Body Works and yeah, stuff like that. Just chick stuff for chicks only. And this is my newly organized towel closet, which really needs organized a lot better. I don't know what to do with all these sheets. These are all bed sheets, top sheets, pillowcases, sheets. Ah, don't know what to do with them. And here's some towels. Hey, towels. Oh, yeah. Those are looking real nice, aren't they? Uh-huh. See the black from the makeup? Like, it's got black all over it. I wish I had more light in here, but I don't. So, anyways, um, this is like... Yeah, this is all my self-tanning stuff over here from Versa Spa, from Mystic Tan, um, from Sun Laboratories, like my favorite is tanning stuff. And I have my Clarisonic Mia. I have some random little shampoos and all of my Defabulous products, shampoos, conditioners, mousses, gels, whatever it is. I also have my Fast Shampoo back there. Um, and I have some other stuff. Like some old hair dye, pink and teal blue. Um, and there's a self tanning spray thing. This is just a bunch of junk that I really need to go through. And magazines and books and dirty flip flops. And I really, really need to reorganize all this. Um, this is an old collage I was making when I was like going through my eating disorder. I don't know why I'm showing you this, but I'm gonna. Because it was in there. I don't want to throw it away because. It's like what I made when I first decided to, you know, go into recovery. And it's just, I don't know. This is Karen Carpenter's actual gravestone. She died from anorexia. Weightless, flawless, beauty, skinny, skin and bones, blah, blah, blah. Whatever. I have never did finish it. But, yeah. Mary Kate Olsen. So thanks for going with me on this huge tour of this fancy bathroom, man. Look at this. This is like a princess throne, right? Yeah. So anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. I know I don't have cool stuff like other girls and all that fun stuff, but you know what? Whatever. Who cares, right? I hope you guys like my book selection. If you guys ever want to come over and you've got to use the restroom, I can totally make you feel at home. Hmm? We'll light a candle. You can look in the mirror. And yeah, just kidding. So anyways, okay, thanks for watching. I'm going to shut up now. And um, yeah, okay. Bye. Oh, I'll give you a sneak peek on my birthday decorations. I got them today. I'm not done yet though. Okay, but here's some of it. Happy birthday. And then this little banner says, it's your day. Yeah, and there's a cupcake. It's supposed to be like cupcakes and stuff. So yeah, this is just a little bit. And then my plates and cupcakes and stuff. Isn't it cute? All right, thanks for watching. And make sure and subscribe to my vlog channel so you can see my birthday video. Um, my birthday's tomorrow. If you want to tell me happy birthday down here, I'm going to be 26 years old. Oh my God, I'm so old. I'm almost 30. <sighs> yeah. Okay. Bye.